Okay, so we're now looking at some of the operations we can do with complex numbers, and operations are add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Now, in this video, um, we're not going to do division because that is a little bit harder, and I want to keep the videos at a decent length. So we, we're going to be looking at add, subtract, and multiply in this video. Okay, so from the last lesson, um, this form is called Cartesian form. Okay, so what I've got is um, I'm using subscript, so I've got the first uh, complex number equals x1 plus y1i. So these are subscripts, this means the first x and the first y. The second complex number equals the second x plus the second yi. And the main thing you need to know when adding or subtracting, because they're, they're the same operation basically, um, we look at the corresponding elements. So we're going to be looking at the real elements and the complex elements together and not trying to mix and match. Okay, so come across when you're ready. Okay, so basically, if you're adding or subtracting, you either add the real parts or subtract the real parts, and then you add the imaginary parts or you subtract the imaginary parts, and that's basically all you have to worry about. So it's, it's just like common sense, you know, in like terms, just adding up like elements. So for instance, in my example, um, <laughs> Z1 equals Z2 equals, um, I'll give you a minute, see if you can work out what uh, adding of those two and subtracting, and note that I'm switching the order in the second one. So can you pause, and then when you're ready, come back live. Okay, so hopefully you might have had a go. So we're looking at the real parts. So 3 plus 4 is 7, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, and so you could just write that down as 7 minus i. And in the second one, we're subtracting, but we're subtracting uphill, so to speak. So 4 minus 3 is 1, and 1 minus minus 2 becomes plus 3. And so there's your two answers for adding and subtracting. And again, you won't get a lot of questions like that. They're like the stocking fillers, but you will get questions, certainly, to get, get you started. Okay, again, you don't have to put the 1 in, but you're not wrong if you do. So copy that and come across when you're ready. Okay, so the first of the harder things is multiplying. Okay, so we're still defining it x, uh, z1, x1, y1, z2, x2, y2. So it's just the real parts and the imaginary parts. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the FOIL method. Okay, the FOIL method to expand out. So I've got x1 times x2, so that's a number. And then I've got x1 times the second part, so I'm going across the other side. So I've got x1, y2, i. So I finish with that number, now I move to this number, and I'm going to put x first, so I'm multiplying that by that. So it's going to be x2, y1, i, and then finally that number by that number, so that's y1, y2, i squared. Now this is where you have to remember from the last couple of slides that i squared equals minus 1. So what we end up with is that's real, x1, x2, and this number's real, but we have to change the sign because i squared's minus 1. So that's our real part. And then our imaginary part is x1, y2 plus x2, y1 and i. Okay? And that is our imaginary part. Okay. So in this example here, um, I'll work it through with you just to make sure you're okay. So the real part is, I'm going to multiply these numbers, so that gives us the first part. I'm going to multiply these numbers together, and then I'm going to change the sign. So 4 times minus 5 is minus 20, so that becomes a plus 20. So we multiply the numbers, and then change the sign. So that's our real part, and then our imaginary part will be times by i, and then we just, just do like a crossover. So 3 times minus 5 is minus 15, and 4 times 1 is 4, and so the final answer is 23 minus 11i. And so when we multiply, when we multiply them together, we end up with a complex number. Now there is one case where multiplying doesn't give a complex number, and we'll discover that a bit later. But in general, two numbers multiply, two complex numbers multiply to give a complex number, with an e one exception which we'll find out later. So copy that, and there'll be plenty of practice on those ones. Again, these are a little bit harder, but they're not, they're not su super hard. Okay, coming across now. Okay, so actually I thought I wasn't going to do division here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the video here, even though I've got a few more slides, because I'm pretty sure I do division on the next video. So I'm going to stop it here. Okay, thanks, bye.